Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and I am currently living in Copenhagen. For those of you who watched my last video, thanks so much for coming back and watching this one. And if you're new here, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. So today what I'm going to be doing is answering some questions that people have asked me about living in Copenhagen. And I've been here for about four months. Um, so everything that I say is gonna be from my personal experience. Um, and I hope it just brings and sheds some light to what it's actually like being in Copenhagen. So let's get started. So the first question that I was asked, or that I've got here written down, is are there lots of black people in Copenhagen? Hmm. Now, I have seen quite a few black people, to be honest. I wasn't really expecting there to be lows like there is in London, obviously, but I have seen more than I thought I would. And I should also add that I am living in what people call the East, East London of um, Copenhagen. It's an area called Norbro. Um, so it's very multicultural. There are a lot of not just black people, but people from Asia, people from um, other places, just like a mix, a real mix of people here. Um, but it would be, I guess, the place you would expect to see a lot of um, culture or people from different cultures or countries in Copenhagen. So I, I guess I am also lucky in that I am living in that area. I didn't know that before I moved here. I've only found that out since I got here. So it just happened by luck. Um, but yeah, so I think that's probably why you might not see a lot of black people, but it's not just predominantly white either. There are a lot more races and cultures here as well. This was from my friend in London. Shout out to Narinda. Um, and she asked me, do I get catcalled in Copenhagen? I haven't actually been catcalled here at all. And I'm not saying that in like a surprising, I should have been catcalled kind of way, but it is definitely different than if you were in um, London, for example. Now I know that, you know, most people get catcalled around like building sites and things like that. To be fair, I haven't seen that many. And those that I have seen, they're just getting on with their work. Um, so I haven't been catcalled here. Now I'm not saying that it's not gonna happen to anybody. It just hasn't happened to me. Um, yeah. And I don't think it would, to be honest. I don't really think, Danes are very reserved people, so I don't really think they're the ones to be shouting out at you in the street um, or honking their cars or anything like that. I really don't think that's, that's going to happen. But who knows, I'll keep you updated if it ever does and I will, yeah, eat my words. Mannerisms between Danish and like British people. Um, so the main things that I have noticed is that there's no Danish word for please. <laughs> they just say, for example, can you pass me the salt? Thank you. No, like, please keep passing the salt. Thanks. Um, just, they just use, they use thanks instead of please. Um, so there's no like real word for please. Um, and another thing I've noticed is, you know, saying sorry. I'm, I'm the kind of person, I say sorry all the time. I think, I really think it's a British thing. You're like, oh, sorry, it just comes out naturally. Um, whereas here, people don't really say that. They're just like, you know, get on with their day. And people don't say thanks as well. Although there's no word for please and they use thanks when they ask you for something, if you hold a door open for someone, they don't really say thanks. <laughs> if you let someone go ahead of you, if they're like, um, you know, carrying loads of stuff and you're both getting on the train together, they'll just, you know, get on the train. There's no, oh, thank you. It's just straight on the train. At first I thought it was really rude and I'd like, you know, you're waiting for them to say thank you. And then they just don't and you're like, okay. But then after a while, I think I've gotten used to it now and now I, I don't even wait. I'm just like, you know, and then get on, get on with my day. So yeah, that's another one. Um, and the last one actually, now this one I got from watching um, on YouTube and she was saying how Danes don't like being asked how, like if you walk in and say how are you, they don't really like being asked that because they think that you don't really care to know the answer. I thought that was really interesting because it's very, again, very natural for me to go up to someone in the morning when I walk into work I'm always like, hello, 
<laughs> hi guys how are you how was your weekend la, la, la. and they'll at first they're like i'm fine how are you and i'm like yeah i'm good thanks and after watching that video i realized that it really was just that common conversation that you have with everybody. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, you, basically. Um, and it never goes any deeper. So I realized like, okay, there's no point in saying it if it's a blanket statement and if it actually annoys some Danish people. This one's from my brother, shout out to Bob. He said, am I recognized as a foreigner from London or from Nigeria? Now, as you can hear, I have a British accent, so the second I open my mouth, everyone's like, oh, you're from London. Um, you know, when did you move here? And so I think because of the accent, I am recognized as a foreigner from London. Do Danes have a dark sense of humor? It's question number five. Yes. <laughs> like a fish I can't figure out how to phrase it um they do yeah they do like they find humor in everything they don't take themselves too seriously and I think that that is actually I think that's the reason why and you know this is this was the happiest place city in the world not too long ago I think Sweden or another um, Scandinavian country has overtaken the number one spot now but I think they really don't take themselves too seriously which is why they are able to joke about things that would seem quite dark to other people from different countries for example so I do think they have a dark sense of humour um, I'm not going to give any examples right now simply because you know but <laughs> They do, yes. <laughs> Six. This is like a general question that I got from multiple people that I've tried to kind of lump into one. Um, so it's to do with if people are staring at me when I'm on the streets, do people make comments about my hair, do the attention that I get being black, basically. And I'm linking this with this question that I was asked, how is life here is one, a black person and two as being a woman so I'm going to link all those into one answer life here as a black person is fine I think you know it's the same around the world to be honest you will come across those people that are ignorant um, however I haven't come across that here so it's the kind of thing where it's like I get on a train and people are looking at me. Or I have my hood up, for example, because it's raining or something. I take my hood down, I have braids, then people are looking at me. And I think it's just because they're probably not used to seeing people with braids here. People haven't made comments about my hair or anything like that. Um, but I'm the kind of person where if someone was to ask me a question, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take offense. I would I genuinely want to share knowledge if you're not sure about black culture or anything like that like if they ask me i'm not gonna you know be like why are you so ignorant you should know this you're however old 40 years old like no if you don't know you need to ask otherwise you'll you'll never find out so no. yeah actually there was one other person who was asking me if this was my real hair and i said that no my hair has extensions and it's kind of like wrapped together and that's where the length comes from and my natural hair is only about here so That I got was how did I integrate into Danish life now I'm not sure if I should do like another video about this because it's quite a long story <laughs> to be honest I've been here for four months and I felt really comfortable ever since I got here um, but actually like integrating and being a part of society is a bit of a long a longer uh, answer about how I actually did it so I think I'll do another a separate video on that um, to explain that a bit more Do people wear black all the time? Yes. <laughs> but not everybody. You're still gonna have those really quirky people who you know wear bright colours and do all those super fun things. But the majority of people are very, very toned down. Dark colours, dark grey, black jeans, black top, black shoes, black jacket, black bag, black hat. Um, very minimal makeup, 
you know, the majority of people wear black, but there are people who also wear funky colours and express their personality through their clothes as well. Um, not as much as in London, though, obviously. <laughs> What is the food like here? And do Danes eat healthier? I'll tell you what they eat a lot of. They have this dish and it's like an open face sandwich. And it's basically like rye bread with toppings on top. Um, and that's like a, a, a typical Danish like meal. And I was talking about this at, at lunch the other day at work saying, someone else was saying, they find it really weird. The place I work is very international, so if someone else was saying they find it weird that this is considered a meal, it's basically half a sandwich. <laughs> and people were saying, yeah, but you can put toppings on there, you can put all sorts on there. So like, they, they eat a lot of, um, just from what I've seen, you know, they do eat a lot of like uh, carbs, like bread, um, potatoes. They love potatoes here, and I love potatoes, so it's absolutely fine. Um, and they have this sauce called Bernays sauce and it is delicious, like with steak and potatoes and some vegetables and Bernays sauce. Honestly, if you are ever in Denmark, I recommend you to go and try Bernays sauce. Um, but it is really good, like really good. Um, so yeah. <laughs> What's better here than in London? Okay, two questions. What's better here than in London and what's worse here than in London? Oh, transport, easy. Um, yeah, I've been here for four months and I've only ever been, been delayed um, on a train once. <laughs> Yesterday, no, Thursday. <laughs> it's today Sunday, Thursday. How crazy. Once in four months and I get the train and buses very regularly. I'm not cycling yet, but I will in spring. It's a bit cold right now. Um, only been delayed once, crazy. Um, so transport is definitely better than in London. You won't just get delays for no reason and just standing waiting for trains, definitely. Yeah. And what's worse here than in London? It's really gonna be food, isn't it? The food isn't bad, but it's, it's, you're used to like, you know, your comfort food that you've grown up around. Being able to go to Tesco and get some Indomie noodles. Can't do that here. <laughs> you might have trouble finding things that you would normally be able to find. Um, and yesterday I was really craving some chocolate, but like the Oreo chocolate, um, you know what I mean the chocolate with Oreo inside. And I couldn't find any, so I had to improvise. Neo. <laughs> These are basically Oreos, and then a chocolate bar. So, yes. Um, they do definitely have different diets, but you will be able to find the things that you are used to having. Um, maybe you just have to improvise a little bit. So now I'm just gonna put that there to eat in a minute. Um, yeah not being able to just get what you want. But at the same time, that that isn't specific to Denmark, that's specific to each person who moves here. So let me think of another one. What's worse here than in London? <laughs> Cycling, death by cycle. <laughs> that is what is worse here than in London. People are very serious on their bikes. If you, for example, are waiting for the green light to come on or the pedestrian crossing and some bikes are quickly trying to get past before that light turns green for you, the, the light might already be red for, the, for both the cars and the bikes coming from that direction and you want to cross here, they'll quickly try and zoom past and if you're not watching, they will just bang right into you because it really is up to the pedestrian to be looking to see if it is clear. As it is in all countries, you know, don't cross the road until you check both sides, but they are really serious about their biking. And it is, I'd say it's worse, only because it's more dangerous to be biking and like walking, because you have to really pay attention to the bikes. So you just have to be careful, basically. I think that, I think I'm gonna leave that there. But yeah, um, thanks so much for watching and coming back to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
let me know what you want me to be doing on this channel because right now I'm just going off of my ideas and asking around. So please let me know if you're watching, what you're interested to find out. Um, oh. Of course, and don't forget to subscribe um, so you know when my next video comes out. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, just let me know what you want to see and I will show you around Copenhagen and Denmark. So yeah, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.